Hey there, friend. My name is Anya Coder, and I'm a singer-songwriter. I used to travel all across the world to write songs and perform and make music videos and just had the best time ever as a young singer-songwriter. Tonight, coronavirus driving Europe into crisis. But then, as for literally all of us, my life changed drastically at the beginning of this year. I started writing more music than I had ever written before. But anyways, all of this to say, Welcome to my journey of recording a whole album entirely in quarantine. Let's go! Hi friends, we meet again on a morning walk. So um, it is October 1st, spooky season, and I just got off the phone with Julia Fernandez, um, AKA a design woman. Um, we randomly went to high school together. She's been working, we've been working together on like a bunch of different releases. She did sort of the, uh, how do you call it? The logo for the first album I put out. She has been doing gifts, you know, the little funky things on Instagram stories for my, my previous singles. And now she's gonna be doing the covers for the, oh, whoops for the singles off of the EP and I'm super excited. Um, we had a long, we had a phone talk, phone call, <laughs> talking about different ideas and how to do this. And now that COVID is a thing, um, everything basically happens over the phone. Um, but one of the things that I find really helpful in communicating with designers or photographers and all that stuff is having a very clear visual idea of what I want. So Pinterest boards have been my lifeline. I always ha usually have a Pinterest board ready to show them, um, to have sort of like a starting point, especially with visual stuff, it's very hard often to describe it or the same word could mean different things to different people. You know, warm can mean something to me, but something completely different to, to another person. Um, and so it's good to have that very tangible photos to show them um, what exactly you want. So I love to give direction, but not too much because I want it to keep open so that the person who's working on it can also add in their creativity and their ideas and you know, cause that's really what's gonna make it better. Hello everyone, my name is Julia Fernandez. I'm an interdisciplinary designer and I also happen to be a friend of the family. I have been working with Anya since high school and it has been such a joy every single time. Today I'm gonna show you a little bit around my workspace and um, I'm going to show you like a look into the process of the simple cover which I help design as well. So, <laughs> the best way to encapsulate Anya and I's like design process and conversation and collaboration together is looking through our iMessage chat and I promise I won't show anything like private or anything. We always begin with some sort of Pinterest board and I love Anya because she's always prepared and gives me a very extensive amount of references which I personally love as a designer because it makes my job easier to know what the client would want. So in this case, Anya would want to do some kind of portrait and then I did some ideating and figuring out what I needed from her. And so once I decided, um, okay, I need references, she went ahead and sent me photo references of herself, which were really helpful. And I thought this was the most helpful for me personally. So I'm currently, ugh, so I'm currently sitting in my bed because I just shot like a photo version of the cover for, oh, is this a good angle? For simple. Um, so basically I was talking to Julia and we were talking about what was the best way to do it, so what's the best way to for her to, because every cover is supposed to be a silhouette of a woman, aka me, aka a woman, <laughs> um, doing something at home, and then we're gonna incorporate flowers in it. Um, and so this, we were was talking about um, at using a lyric from each of the songs as sort of the depiction for what's gonna be on the cover. And for simple, there's this lyric in the chorus that says, grilled cheese in our red at noon. And so that's what we're using also. You like my morning voice, eh? <laughs> Should've used that for the, <laughs> for the song. Um, but yeah, so we're using the grilled cheese in our bed at noon lyric to depict this woman sitting cross-legged um, 
on the bed with grilled cheese in her hand. And so I took like a little photo pretending I'm eating grilled cheese. So Julia can see sort of like what I'm wearing. This is the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing in one of the shots for the video too. So there's like continuity. So just so she can see sort of what she needs to draw and kind of like the position my body's in. And then she's gonna make that into the cover. I was also wearing a headband, but we'll see if that will use that or not. But um, yeah, it's happening. Let's do this. So what I ended up doing was I transferred all of those files um, and I use my handy dandy iPad Pro and I love it so much I use it all the time so I went ahead and transferred that onto my iPad Pro as you can see here um, and I knew that I wanted to emulate this like trace effect so what I'll do is I'll show you what the tracing actually looks like on top of Anya like that it looks kind of weird with Anya behind it but this is what it looks like without her. So it was kind of, uh, I wanted to make sure that I like was accurate with what she wanted. Um, so I then added a little bit more details. And of course I wanted to add some kind of flower um, cause we all know that's like a motif and theme for her. So I add a reference. I literally just like copy and paste a reference of a flower. And then I like doodle um, my version of it and of course we wanted to have the right color so a few layers afterward here is what we have once i was satisfied with this particular illustration i went ahead and kept talking to anya we go back and forth and with my clients i try to do my best to provide some kind of um options uh for them to choose from and with anya it's super easy to figure out you know what we need to like get done i feel like we're in the same headspace whenever we do stuff like this um and so as you can see here we go through like a few edits and like figuring out colors and stuff like that and um i was doing other iterations and then i kind of had this light bulb moment when i was in um illustrator which is where i transfer stuff to um and i thought it'd be really cool to have some kind of instagram tag um because the solution or the problem was like, how are we gonna incorporate the actual title of the single? And so this was kind of the light bulb moment for me. And then when I showed it to Anya, she really liked it. I'm so excited for you guys to see um, the simple cover live on an album cover on Spotify, which is crazy for me because that's the first time um, that I was able to do anything like that. Thank you everyone for joining me in my tour uh, and I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I love you, Anya.